Morning guys. Thanks for clicking on the channel. It's Monday the 18th of November. Uh, I'm going to do a wild camp. It's not usually my thing, wild camping, as you probably know, if you follow the channel. I'm usually a stealth camper, but um, I've won a tent on a free giveaway off YouTube from Black Mountain Adventures from Lee. So I'm going to trek on up to the Upper New Ed Reservoir now, just below Penavan. And I'm going to stay for the night. Bit of wild camping. So stay with us. Catch you soon. So when you get to this point from the car park, you take the left hand lane, okay? The right hand lane takes up the pen of van. That's the horseshoe trail. You take the left hand lane. You see a green gate. So take that route, okay? When you get the second junction along, stick to the left, okay? So when you get the private road sign, stick to the left. So when you get to the stage, that building there is your new red pump house. And there's rails up around the lock, and they're there for a reason, right? So you go through your airlock. And you walk around the perimeter of the fence on the outside. You just follow the footpath. So that there is the lower New Ed Reservoir. What's left of it, see? No. See that zigzag path there? That's another path up the Penavan. That's probably the easiest way. So when you get to this point, you swing to the right. Swing to the right. So I'm just coming up to the uh, up on the now. I don't know if we can see it behind the trees, but there's a damn wall there, okay? Now I'm a pretty fast walker, considering I'm only five foot five with short legs. But it's taken me only 20 minutes to get to this stage, okay? I am sweating. But what I did before I left the house, I drank two litres of water with a pinch of salt and some electrolytes in it. Okay, so this is your brand new Ed reservoir. So there you've got your dam wall. Obviously it's been drained, it's been drained for a few years, but it did used to um, supply a large population with the drinking water. Yes, this is your brand new Ed reservoir. As I say, obviously drained, as you can see. So I didn't carry any water in with me because I knew it was a stream here. It's just added weight, so I'm gonna take my water from this source here now. I'm gonna put a steady tab in a litre. And the time I get to where I'm gonna harbour up, it's gonna be about half hour, so it'll be sterile, but I'm gonna boil it anyway in a jet boil. And have a cup of before I set up the 
the tent. steady tab to lead the water and as I've shown you in the past I keep mine on the underside of my water bottles okay Time I'll have two litres of sterile water, okay? Here before I checked for widow makers, it's all fine. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave my rucksack here, my burgan. This looks as good a spot as any, and of course, I'll wake up to Penavan, Kondu, Kibben, and Fanny Beag in the morning. I need my burger and you know, I'll look around. It's all right, you're on it. Back in a tick. Actually, the best spot. Um, I did find a spot up there, further on up there, that I recognised. Uh, I think I've done camping out before, Mr. Mr. Wild Wales. I found this spot, but it's a little bit of a gradient on it, so I think it's probably the best spot. Sunny view in the morning as well. So, we're going to set the tent up now. See you in a bit. So the tent that I won off YouTube is a North Face Tadpole 23DL. So the inner shell's up and that actually took two minutes. Brilliant. So I'm just going to put a fly on now and peg it down. So the tent is up guys. Um, I haven't seen a soul since I've been up there, and no man come across to see me. Uh, Billy Barnett, his name was, he's 80 years old, and he got talking like, and he said, you remind me of someone. So oh, I said, who's that? Phil, Phil Mitchell, as I said. No, he said. This is not a joke, no, it's serious. 
You see, was your father, Tommy Callaghan? He said, yeah. He said, I used to, he said, I used to work in that potato with Ronnie Ukes. Yeah, slabbergasted guys. Small world, isn't it? He's dead now. See, my old man, but uh, he died in 97, he did age 50. Small world, isn't it? Right, sir. Uh, oh, this tent then. Uh, it was a few pegs short, it was, for it to get the old bowie knife out and make a few. Let's have a look there. Yeah. Like your room is high, well, for me anyway. I wouldn't say it was a two man tent though. Unless you were five stone. I mean, 16, so. This is a lovely front, funny look, you know. It's a tadpole. It didn't take long to put up. The fog is starting to lift now over there. Look. I'm hoping it'll be a key in the morning. We're going to have a fantastic view. So the tadpole is up. It's not me while you camp in here, but... Ooh. Happy day! Let's get a bit on the road. <laughs> That's fabulous. We're steaking salad now. We've still got a bit light. No alcohol tonight.
you served. Steak and salad. Having an old chocolate now. Retire to the tent. Ah, uh, six o'clock now. Now I've had my tea. I've had an old chocolate. Um, it's nine degrees. Really warm, like you know. Uh, I got the front of the tent open. Stop condensation. I've got a new series downloaded off Netflix. No serial killer, so I'm gonna watch that now. And I'll probably speak to you now in the morning. And let's hope now the, the mist rises and we'll have a beautiful scene in the morning. Okay? Good night, everyone. Good night. Morning, guys. Six o'clock, six a.m. Uh, hell of a long night, obviously. You know, about uh, fourteen hours in the tent. Uh, I have not much sleep. I've had uh, interrupted sleep, if you know what I mean. Uh, just can't get comfortable. Uh, the British Army sleeping bag I got is an Arctic sleeping bag, you know, it's great for for keeping you warm up, but I just don't feel comfortable and I'm just too broad, you know. I just feel a bit um, claustrophobic in it. So what I did was um not long after retiring, after watching a few documentaries and reading my book um, I just laid on top of the sleeping bag just inside the gonk bag you know uh, and I'm after some recommendations for a, a sleeping mat I think it's time to upgrade because uh, the British Army one that I got is a bit too thin as well. I just didn't have a very comfortable night at all. I don't know why. Just tossing and turning all night. But, um, yeah, six o'clock now. I'm hoping to catch sunrise on the camera for you guys, like. You know, because it's... you got uh, Kondu, Penavan, Kriban, and Fanny Big right in front of me, but... I don't know what it's like out there now with the mist wise, but I'm hoping to get it on camera for you guys, alright? Yeah, so if you could um, give me a recommendation for a pretty thick and comfortable sleeping mat and pillow. Right guys, I'll, uh, I'm going to read my book for a bit now and then I'll see you a bit later. Cheers guys. Four past seven now. It's light rain. Uh, I got a vegetarian Russian pack on the go. And I got a brew ready. I'm really misty. I don't think we're gonna see the Penavan feature, to be honest. And mine's always next time, innit? Then guys, I'm just bugging out. Left.
after they found it, leave no trace. Um, I'm really sorry I didn't get the, the views. I wanted to show you the scenery this morning, a lovely backdrop. Maybe next time. Right, let's get out of here. Guys, I'm going to clock off now, so I'm going to try and keep the camera dry, okay, so uh, hope you enjoyed the content, please leave a like, subscribe, share and comment, see you more drill guys, see you on the next one, take care of yourselves guys, ta -ra.